I was very fortunate to have a fantastic career. I got to serve as a commanding officer. I was special assistant to the head of the Navy, but the greatest honor was being aide to the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. We would fly around the world in the big military jet, visit with kings and queens. I got to go to the White House and, and be on Capitol Hill quite a lot because the chairman's job is principal advisor to the president. So on September 11th, I'll just remember it as so many of us do, as a beautiful morning in Washington, D.C. We started out at the Pentagon and got in our cars and went to Andrews Air Force Base and took off and we were over the Atlantic Ocean when we got the news about a plane crashing into the World Trade Center. And just like everybody, at first we thought it was just a small plane. So we put on our headsets and we were listening uh, to the we news. We have information that a plane has crashed into the side of the World Trade Center. And we found out that it wasn't a small plane and we heard it unfold as we were in the air. Then we got the news about the second aircraft. And I, I got the goosebumps now because it... I remember the chairman told us to go back and I remember going up to the cockpit and saying to the pilot, take us back to Washington. And we flew right back over Manhattan, landed in Washington, and approaching the Pentagon, you could see it on fire, see the flames coming out of it. And uh, of course, we went right away to check out the damage. And walking up to that gaping hole that was my office building, I remember thinking then and there, why were some people in the wrong place at the wrong time? while others were saved. And these questions lingered in my mind over the next few days while the building continued to burn. And the first chance I got to get away from work, Ty and I escaped to our sailboat. And I remember lying there on the deck, staring up at the sky, asking those questions, and realizing that life is too short not to live your dreams while you can. And we had had these dreams to go sailing off into the sunset on our sailboat. And 9-11 convinced me it was time to go. Being a published author already, I would just sit on my couch many times with, with Rudy the Sailing Wiener Dog draped across my lap, and uh, I would just write for hours on end. And I always prayed for guidance before I sat down to write, and the words just flowed. Writer's block never entered the picture. This whole incredible journey has taught me how important it is to keep our connection with God at all times. You know, I didn't grow up thinking spiritual thoughts at all, but now I really understand who and what we are, and that has just transformed my life from the inside out. So I work hard now to maintain the balance between my work as a spiritual teacher and my life with Ty.